Hello everybody, so another week is starting. Uh, it's Sunday night. I'm off to the Royal Hawks of Haven for my for my resident gig. Tonight we got uh, Myra Dubois, the star of TV and the star of the London scene. She's playing, she's doing cabaret. So it's gonna be a good one I think. physio at the local gym 10 minute walk if you were watching last week's vlog you would have seen me doing my first session all for 30 minutes no resistance on a bike all very tedious all very I don't know tame I guess uh, compared to what some people do at the gym but it is my physio for my dodgy knee and um, can I just say thank you and hello to all the people that responded to last week's vlog I had a message from Vince who is a radiographer and he was he was a bit he was a bit confused by my um, vlog where I was saying that it was my muscle that was torn as um, <clears throat> it's not actually my muscle it's my uh, cartilage it's the meniscus I have no idea about the details of this injury um, I should investigate more because like Vince said the more I know, the better understanding I have um, to heal the injury. But anyway, I'm back there today, um, back at the gym. And also, um, I had a message from <laughs> somebody else, I can't remember the name of, um, it will come up on the screen though, who said, uh, what an idiot I am. No, he didn't actually say that. He said, um, nobody, in capital letters, nobody goes to the gym in trainers during the winter during the winter months when it's freezing and there's frost on the ground very true nobody but me because I am glutton for punishment I really am seriously I'm the most accident prone person ever and it's a surprise I haven't actually fallen over slipped over on the ice but anyway it's warmer today it's nine degrees here in London in Bermondsey uh, last week if you were watching the vlog you would have seen it was minus three so I'm glad it's a bit warmer I'm still decked out in my winter garb though because I do feel the cold. I'm like an old granny. So yes, thank you to everybody for the comments. Um, I thank you for the great reaction to me being back with another vlog because I missed the one the week before. Had a really good weekend. Saturday's DJ gig at the King's Arms went really well. No problems with the sound system. Well, initially there were a couple of problems, but soon rectified. And I had a visitor. Well, two visitors. No, three visitors. Four visitors, four. Adrian and his partner Stuart turned up. It was really nice to see you guys if you're watching this. I know you do watch this. And Jeff. Jeff and Gary. Yeah, Jeff that used to run the King's Arms. He he turned up. It was really good to see you both, Gary and Jeff. Um, so yeah, had a bit of a gossip behind the decks. People keep shouting at me. I've got kids, three kids, teenagers who have giving the thumbs up and lots of hollering because I'm vlogging in the street. <laughs> they were probably shouting insults. I didn't hear any insults, but they probably were.
So, easy physio, felt a lot better than last week. After last week's session, I had a bit of trouble walking afterwards. Just shows how weak my, my legs are. Anyway, I wanted to say a little bit about the weekend. I had a really good weekend. Saturday, I was DJing at the King's Arms. You saw a bit of the footage uh, on the vlog last week. Really busy, had a really good time with some of the people that were there. Lots of good requests. Lots of people seem to be enjoying the music. So yeah, it's a really nice, nice night at the King's Arms. And I haven't been there for a while because I think the first, I think the last gig I did there was Christmas time. So I haven't actually been there at all throughout January. So it was a nice way to start the year um, at the King's Arms. Last night I was at the RVT. Another really busy night. We had Myra Dubois, the famous TV star, starlet I should say. Uh, she was there doing cabaret. My good friend Simon, Simon Levans from the Gaydar Radio Days, he was there doing tech. And Dave Cross, Pippa, John. Yeah, great team down at the RVT, the Royal Vauxhall Tavern. <laughs> Now heading home to finish the edit of the Plant Based News Podcast. Interview with Emma Hackinson, who's a vegan model. So that'll be published on Wednesday, so I'll put the link in the description box for that interview. So we're on to Thursday, I'm off to the gym to do my physio. It's been quite a good week this week, lots of really good things have happened. One of those is the return of Brookside. Some of you might know Brookside, it was a uh, soap back in the 80s, started in 82 uh, as part of the programming for Channel 4 which obviously launched the same year and all the episodes are starting to go up from episode one on STV Player. It's like an app you can download and um, stream all the programs for free. You can actually pay a little bit extra and they'll remove the adverts, but I don't mind the adverts. It's like 30 seconds to a minute of adverts per episode, but it's been really good to be back into Brookside. I was massively obsessed with Brookside back in the 80s and 90s. Then I started watching it towards the end I think it finished in 2003, but yeah, life got in the way and I just stopped watching it, but it's been so brilliant seeing from episode one onwards. I was quite shocked at how much bad language is in it, but obviously they touched on some really racy storylines. I was chatting to friends of mine on Twitter um, who were saying the same thing. Outrageous language and male nudity. <laughs> which of course I positively encourage. So another good thing that happened today was that I got a box of donuts from Crosstown to review on my vegan channel. And they're um, absolutely delicious. Hot cross, hot cross donuts for Easter. They've got a, like a kind of spicy custard in the middle. Absolutely delicious. I have one and a half today. But it's all right, I'm off to the gym to burn that off. I think it's only about 70 calories I burn off. But anyway, it's still making a difference, I would hope. So that's physio done. 
it's starting to rain so I don't know how long I'm going to be vlogging for now. But anyway, I was saying before I went in the gym, um, it's been quite a good week, quite a productive week. Again, it's gone so quickly. I mean, it's Thursday now. I feel like I've done a lot of things that I wanted to do though. The um, finance stuff finance stuff is pretty much sorted I've just got to wait to hear back from the pension advisor about consolidating my pensions that I have already um, that could take weeks but yeah all the income support all the income protections done um, I've had a really really lovely woman called Vass who's been sorting out my finance stuff um, she's managed to find me three companies that are dealing with my life insurance, my income protection, and I've also had my will sorted. Just signed that off. So all done, which is good. Certainly is a weight off my shoulders. I've been meaning to do this for years and uh, I've finally got around to doing it. I had a couple of reviews gone up this week as well. If you want to check out the other videos, I'll link to them down below. There's one for Skinnamarink, which is a new lo-fi Canadian horror film, which was weird to say the least. Um, I mean, I'm all over weird films, but this one, there isn't so much a plot. It's definitely a mood piece, isn't it? It feels like, I mean, yeah. it's obviously experimental, so it's not gonna be for everybody. It doesn't necessarily explain itself. You're left wondering what the hell is going on, I think, throughout. I think if you are gonna watch it, there's probably a certain way you need to watch it, and there's certain expectations you need to have. It has echoes of that final scene of Blair Witch Project, where the guy's in the corner. How about this? It could be that this is all in someone's mind who lives in the house. In his mind, like, this is this kind of surreal version of what happens in my house. I'm not there anymore. I'm either dead or I'm in a coma or I'm years past from when this happened and it's just kind of like a dream. I think it has been assembled more of an experience and I don't really, I don't even know whether there is, there's that much of a commitment to a narrative by the filmmakers in all the stuff that you're saying is really plausible about what it can be but I think they've actually gone more for the experience and it could just be lots of little bits of a kid waking up from different nightmares. Yeah, we just don't know. You don't really see anyone's faces in it it's all very grainy lots of scratches on the film it's all kind of it's all very 70s in feel but set in the 90s yeah I don't know um, I didn't love it it was an hour and 40 minutes it seemed really overly long but anyway check out the review I'll link to it below and we've reviewed Pamela a love story the documentary on Netflix about Pamela Anderson which I really loved. These guys are going to churn out a thousand DVD, like VHSs, and they'll do the rounds. Oh, to find that they were on the forefront of the internet, and suddenly someone uploads it, and then anyone can watch it. Anyway, that must just be devastating. I think it's testament to her that she seems to have got two well-rounded kids who are grown up, and she is still like, I'm fighting for what I, what I think is important. Oh my God, such a great mother. But it's infuriating, isn't it, to remember those times back then? I mean, obviously, even more infuriating for her and her family, because she was truly treated like an object. All those people that said, well, you know, you pose topless and nude for Playboy. A sex tape is the same thing, but it's not because she's had that stolen. That's her personal life. That's different. She consented to do whatever she wanted to do with a Playboy. It's her body. I'm like pro Pamela. I'm like, yeah, do whatever you like, babes. That's amazing. She did not consent to be burglarized, as an American would say, and then have someone edit her home videos and then put it up. She did not consent to that. It's not the same thing and there was another film called she is love which is a drama a romantic comedy drama set in Cornwall where I used to live so that was great to see New Lynn East um, where they filmed the movie um, yeah brought back some memories so yeah a very nostalgic week what with that and Brookside which I used to love in the 80s when I lived in Cornwall um, so yeah, a great week. So this is where I'm going to leave the vlog for this week. I've got a couple of DJ gigs this weekend. Friday night I'm at the Two Brewers in Clapham. And Saturday I'm at the King's Arms. I've got a gig there every weekend throughout February, apart from the last weekend. So hopefully I'll get some footage over the weekend for next week's vlog. Um, yes, thank you for your continued support, all your messages. I'm loving those messages from you, so keep those up keep posting, keep sharing, and have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you next week.